Hello everyone, welcome. So we have been seeing previous year solutions of UPSC Mathematics optional. So we are seeing linear algebra, right? So the previous two videos we have solved problem number one and problem number two. So in this class we'll 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 do problem number three, right? So if you haven't watched my linear algebra, um, I have I also I have already completed linear algebra fully, right? If you haven't seen my videos, I'll just post all those links in the description box so that you can go through all those videos, right? Super. So if you haven't watched problem number one and problem number two, go through that. So in this class we will do problem number three. So first we are solving 2021 paper, uh, and in the upcoming class we will start 2020, 2019, and so on. Right? Super. Okay. Um, so what problem number three is? If a is equal to one to one minus one zero one zero zero, then show that a square is same as a inverse. Right? So these are just 10 standard problems. Right? So not even 10 standard, nine standard problem. So we need to show a square is same as a inverse without finding the inverse of a. Without finding inverse, right? So without finding a inverse, you know how to find a inverse, right? So a inverse is you can do this in many ways. One of the way is if uh, a inverse is equal to one by determinant of a into adjoint of a, you can use that formula. But without using the without finding the inverse, we need to show a square is same as a inverse, right? What a square is same as a inverse. So they are given the matrix A, which is a three by three matrix, which is a three by three matrix, right? Very very simple, not even ten standard level, right? Super. So we will start. I will start. Uh, we will start solution. Now what we need to show? So we need to show. We need to show this A square is same as A inverse, right? We need to show A square is same as A inverse. This is what we need to show. Uh, but we should not find a inverse, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is, we just pre-multiply a on both sides, right? We just pre-multiply a on both sides, right? You just pre-multiply a on both sides. So that what we will have? So we will have a into a square is equal to a into a inverse, right? So a into a square is a cube. So here we have a into a inverse, right? A into a inverse. Remember, if this matrix is non-singular, that is determinant is not equal to zero, then obviously inverse exists. If inverse exists, by definition, a into a inverse will be equal to ID matrix. So if you want to put this to be equal to an ID matrix, that is, if you want to put a and a into a inverse is equal to identity matrix. First of all, you need to make sure that determinant is not equal to zero. If determinant is not equal to zero, only inverse exists, right? Very simple, ten standard problem, right? Super. So what we will do is we will make sure that the determinant of a is determinant of a is not equal to zero. So what is determinant of a? So determinant of one to one, one to one, minus one minus one zero, one zero zero, right? So we just you just find the determinant for this. So this will be one times so zero minus zero plus one times two into zero zero plus one time two into zero plus one. So therefore this determinant is equal to one, which is not equal to zero. So since this matrix is non-singular, so matrix is said to be non-singular if determinant is not equal to zero, right? So therefore determinant of A is not equal to zero. That means inverse exists for this matrix. A inverse exists. That means if inverse exists by definition, what is the definition? A into A inverse is same as A into A. Uh, sorry, A into A inverse is same as A inverse into A is equal to an ID matrix, right? Is equal to an ID matrix. So here it will be an ID matrix of order three because it is a three by three matrix, right? So make sure that this happens. Because of this, I can put a a into a inverse to be equal to i. So in order to show a square is same as a inverse, I can show a cube is equal to i, right? So for showing a cube is equal to i, I I don't need uh, without finding inverse. I don't need to find the inverse to show a cube is equal to i, right? Again, ninth standard problem. You just have to multiply this a three times. See whether you are getting ID matrix, then that is same as saying a square is same as a inverse, right? Very simple. So you need to find a a cube. You need to show a cube is equal to i. So you just find a square now. 
so what is a square so again a uh, uh, very very child's play right so 1 to 1 minus 1 minus 1 0 1 0 0 into uh, 1 minus 1 1 2 minus 1 0 1 0 0 so you multiply these two matrix you will have a square right so 1 minus 2 plus 1 right 1 into 1 1 minus 2 plus 1 so here minus 1 1 0 minus 1 1 0 right so here we have 1 0 0 so this will be 2 minus 2 0 2 minus 2 0 here minus 2 1 0 minus 2 1 0 so here 2 into 1 is 1 so 2 plus 0 plus 0 and here we will have 1 right here we have 1 plus 0 plus 0 minus 1 plus 0 plus 0 and here we have 1 plus 0 plus 0 so we have found uh, a square right so we have found a square so which is uh, 1 minus 2 is minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 is 0 2 minus 2 is 0 this will be 1 this will be 0 this will be minus 1 this will be minus 1 this will be 1 2 1 so this is our a square now you need to find a cube right so a cube is a square into a so what is a square so a square is 0 0 1 so 0 0 1 0 minus 1 2 0 minus 1 2 1 minus 1 1 right this is a square and what is a a is 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 1 2 minus 1 0 2 minus 1 0 1 0 0 right so this will be equal to so 0 into 1 0 into 2 0 1 right so we have 0 plus 1 plus 1 0 into minus 1 0 0 into minus 1 0 1 into 0 0 0 into 1 0 into 0 1 into 0 0 into 1 right 0 into 1 minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 is 0 0 into minus 1 is 0 minus 1 into 1 is 1 2 into 0 is 0 so we have 0 plus 1 plus 0 which is 1 0 into 1 is 0 minus 1 into 0 is 0 2 into 0 is 0 so we have 0 plus 0 plus 0 which is 0 1 into 1 is 1 minus minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 1 into 1 is 1 so we have 2 minus 2 which is 0 again 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 this will be plus 1 right minus 1 minus 1 so 1 minus 1 will be 0 1 into 1 is 1 1 plus 0 plus 0 so we will have this to be equal to 1 again which is equal to an id matrix of order 3 so we have shown that a cube is equal to y right so we have so we have a cube is equal to i this is same as a square is equal to a inverse right in order to show a square is equal to a inverse it is enough to show a cube is equal to i so we have multiplied a three times and we have said that a cube is equal to an id matrix of order three, right very very simple problem so as of now we have solved three problems right so linear algebra is very easy subject if you understand all the concepts right so in the next class we will start problem number four right so that's it so thank you all the best